Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Mile High Collector here. We are back today with some more uh, NHL hockey cards. Um, this one we're taking a look. I think this is one of the first hockey hobby boxes I've ever opened. Um, this is a 2023-24 Upper Deck Skybox Metal Universe. Um, obviously home of the Precious Metal Gems Parallels, which what's what makes these really exciting as well as, as, well as the Jambalayas. Um, again, just think there's a lot of value in this, this product. Um, and some of the other 23, 24 products with Connor Bedard rookie cards in there. So excited to um, to dive into this and see if we can can, can find a nice Bedard or a uh, PMG parallel would be great. I don't think I've ever actually pulled one. Um, oh, usually I've only opened retail of this, and so I wanted to try the uh, hobby version where I think the hits are probably a little bit more likely to appear. So um, should be a relatively quick rip today. As always, what I say with hockey and soccer, not the the biggest fan in the world, so I probably won't know every single player, but I. We'll know a few. Um, so again, always appreciate my kind viewers educating me down below on the uh, cards I go buy that maybe have value or um, just letting me know who your favorite players are to collect. Um, trying to get more into the sport and appreciate, um, you know, uh, more more knowledgeable fans educating me a bit. So feel free to like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this product. If you're a big hockey collector or if you kind of dabble in it like I do uh, and consider subscribing to the channel. So we'll go ahead and get right into this. Should be a relatively quick rip. We got seven cards per pack, 15 packs per box. So quite a quite a good, you know, um, set of cards for a small box. Looking for the rare Metal X, Martensite, and Jambalaya insert cards. There are a look at all of those there on the back. If you want to take a quick look, pause, and zoom in, there are the odds of some of the parallels and inserts that we can get. Um, and, of course, looking for the rare PMG parallels of the base set. So exciting. We're going to go ahead and get this one open and dive right in. So I've had this for about a week and a half and then waiting to make this video. So excited, taking a lot of restraint to not open this off camera, but this is one I wanted to make sure and share with you all. Um, again, I don't know how often I will buy hobby, hockey hobby boxes in the future. So this one, oh, this one has kind of a seal there. That's unique. But anyway, so excited to share this one with y'all today. I think this box was around 150 at my LCS. Um, so yeah, so here we go. There's a look at the packs. Connor David on the front. Let's go ahead and see what we got. So there's a first look at the um, at the design. I always think it's super interesting. You know, they've got the kind of the, the sci-fi look in the background, the, the dull metallic. Um, Base card design, for some reason, I really like. I wouldn't generally like that. It reminds you a little bit of Select, where the kind of base cards are a little dull. But these, I don't know, for some whatever reason, these really work for me. And there is the back. Great card art on the back. Overall, very, very cool set. I like it a lot. So, again, you're going to have to call out anything here that I may go buy too quickly. There's a Meltdown. Looks like that's our first insert. Victor Hedman. Pretty cool. Pile of going for inserts and rookies. There's Zach Benson, rookie. You can barely see it there, but that's there listed on the side. And then David Pasternak on the back. So yeah, I wonder. There are obviously some of the backgrounds are different. I don't know if there's if that's like a levels thing, kind of like in Select. Um, so somebody down below, let me know um, if there's any meaning to the varied um, backgrounds. In this case, there's a lot of different spaceships futuristic stuff floating around in the back there but let me know if there's some meaning to the various um card designs go through here pretty quickly so just love the card art here there were kate's oh that's fun what is this constellations <laughs> ryan nugent hopkins nice floating head parallel there or, or insert that's pretty great got a rookie Daronda for the Islanders. And then there's a Conor McDavid cover athlete on the back. So looks pretty good. So very cool. So yeah, so so far so good. I'm not sure if we're guaranteed a numbered card in here, but that would be great. Obviously, PMG is where we're focused, but we will take a number card. Pablo Zasha. There's a Palladium. Austin Matthews. That's great. Nice acetate, acetate insert. Die cut, I guess. Palladium. So that's a really cool looking card. We'll go ahead and get that sleeved up just because they're not sure what the super valuable um, inserts are in here or parallel if there are any, but that one is unique enough that I 
I'm happy to dedicate a penny sleeve and top loader to it. And we'll put it on our hit parade back there. So palladium, cool, cool insert. Not sure how rare those are. We'll look it up on the box when we're done here. Oh, let's finish these, sorry. We got a Owen Beck rookie and there is a Peterson on the back. Yeah, very cool inserts. I'll just, this, this set is, I, I think it's super fun. Um, again, haven't opened a ton of it, but I've done some um, retail in the past. So had a chance to pick up a hobby box while I was picking up some uh, update hobby. And so decided to grab one of these for fun. So there's another um, insert there. Oh, there's a Bedard on the back, the Titari star, Marco Casper. And then there's our first Bedard rookie. So we will take that. That is probably one of the... Definitely one of the, the um, cards we we're hoping to pull out of this set. Again, I think he's his rookie stuff still can hit some value. I don't know about this card specifically, but I don't think you can go wrong with a rookie Bedard right now from 2324 products. So we'll put that up there. But excited to have that for the collection. And then a, a Braden Point on the back. Okay, very cool. All right, moving right along here. So again, sorry, I'm taking a little longer time. I'm not as familiar with these cards, so I try to give each one a good look before moving on just to make sure I'm not missing something that's unique. And I'll look at the back of these on the on the on at the end of the video, make sure I didn't miss a numbered parallel. Um, there's a Matthew Nye's Rookie Metal Universe. Cool insert. Another rookie, Leo Carlson. I know he's one of the bigger names in this year's class, along with Bedard. Brock Faber, I believe. So that's cool. Okay, I get quite a few packs here. So 15 packs per box, pretty great. Um, definitely makes it feel worth the price tag. There's another premium prospects insert for Bedard. So that's a great one. Again, not sure of the rarity of that, but we will take all the Bedard that we can find. Get those sleeved and top loaded. Yeah, what are your thoughts? I mean, is this, is, is, are Bedard's cards going to hold value? Um, I don't know that it's quite to Wemby levels in, in basketball to use a comparison. Sidney Crosby on the back, corner dinged up there, where they've kind of printed his rookie card to outer space and back. So it's kind of really diluted, um, diluted the market. I think obviously there are some cards that are more desirable than others and they will definitely hold value. But I'm curious what you think of just the general Bedard market. Um, again, I'll probably keep one or two of these in this in the uh, PC. There's a nice insert here, Connor McDavid. That's great. Soul of the game. Love these inserts. I think I think Upper Deck and Skybox just do a really good job with their inserts lately. I think there was a couple years there, especially in um, Upper Deck Series One and Two, extended series where the inserts were pretty rough. Um, but I think in some of these other products. They really do a good job of uh, of having some cool insert designs. Dustin Wolf on the rookie, and then Jason Robertson on the back. So that makes you know that makes it fun. And like I said, oh look at that! That one's like ripped open. How crazy is that? I've never seen that. Huh? Must have just got caught on something. Let's see. Maybe this will be something unique. I'll see. Look on the back. I don't see any damage to that card, which is good. So I don't know. We'll see what that if that's a good sign or not. There's another premium prospects, Matt Murray, Ty Cartai, Carte, rookie. So yeah, so nothing interesting there. Just a slightly damaged pack, but luckily all the cards were in good shape. So it seems like a few, I feel like I see more and more of that lately, where there's there's little rips or tears or bends in the packs. And again, I know we all kind of talk about quality control. Here's another. Insert a lot of great inserts here. Energetic explosions. So again, not you know super different. That reminds me of the card art from a couple years ago, more of kind of like the nebulas in the back. Tyson Forrester. Uh, but feel like yeah, I've seen more. I don't know, just weird stuff coming out of packs this last year. Maybe than I have before. Maybe I'm just on the lookout more for it, so I'm noticing it more. But um, let me know what you think. Are you seeing damaged packs, more damaged cards? Obviously, there's always some minor quality control issues. Another Meltdown um, parallel, Adam Fantilli, Matt Savoie, rookie. See, that one's on the back. That looks like 
I wonder, there's got to be something to these different designs, right? I'll look this up, but let me know in the comments below. I mean, that one is just so different than these. So it's, I, I assume it's kind of like, kind of like select from Panini where there are different levels. Um, I could be wrong, but let me know down below um, if you understand the meaning behind some of the different backgrounds here. I think there's obviously some. There's all the power, but we just love to, like I said, love to be educated. Marner, that's pretty cool. Is that his own insert? Yeah, maybe like a special Mitch Marner insert set. I'm not sure how rare those are, but definitely a different looking card for the set. So we'll get that one sleeved and top loaded. Set him over there by Connor. The rookie there, and then uh, Stutzel on the back. Okay. Coming down the home stretch, four packs. I know this is a bit of a longer one. I'm moving a little slower through these than I usually do, so I appreciate you hanging in and checking out the, the video with me. Go kind of quickly through these last few. There's a Ty Carte, again, Metal Universe rookie. Pretty cool. Daniel Gushin rookie. And then there's Johnny uh, Gaudrar, uh, Gaudreau. I know he um, unfortunately uh, passed away earlier this year. Very sad situation. I know he was a very popular uh, player for Columbus. So rest in peace to him and uh, peace sent to his family. Very difficult situation. Um, okay, finish up strong here. Last three. Lafiniere. There is a premium prospects. Matthew Poitras. Jackson Lacombe rookie. And William Nylander on the back. Again, another unique background I haven't seen yet. So have to do some research there and educate myself a bit. Very cool, though. Have enjoyed this. Alex Newhook, Riley. Oh, that's a nice one. So that's a parallel, it looks like. Not sure if that's numbered. It is to 100. So there is a Metal Universe Rookies, Yaroslav Askarov, for the Predators, it looks like. And that is our first parallel, numbered to 100. So we will take that. If that's our only numbered card, then I guess... A little disappointing. I would hope for at least a couple number cards out of a uh, out of a hobby box, but um, you know, we will take what we get. We will not be choosy beggars. So I appreciate that. It looks cool. It really pops to the eye. Not sure if you can see that or not, but great, great uh, color on that one. Okay, last pack. Again, as always, appreciate you checking out the videos. Like like the video. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what I missed. What I scrolled right past. It's a thousand dollar card. Um, consider subscribing to the video so we can rip some more together in the future. Finishing off with a Metal Universe, Daniil Gushin, rookie. Justin Sardif, rookie. And last card is a Matthew Kachuk on the background. So, awesome. Okay, so we will look, I'll do a closer look at these to make sure I didn't miss um, anything specific or numbered on the back. I don't think I did, but I will look. Looking a quick look at the, the hits, uh, Connor Bedard on the premium prospects. The base, Connor Bedard, rookie. Austin Matthews, Palladium insert. This Mitch Marner looks like maybe six of 50 of a unique insert set. Uh, Soul of the game, Connor McDavid. And then our Metal Universe rookie, um, Precious Metal Gem to 100. So I love that, you know, we got one PMG out of here, which is great. Um, I'll take it. So anyway... Let me know what you think of the video. I appreciate you stopping by. As always, um, we, 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 we love it when you join us for RIP and look forward to you coming back in the future. Um, thanks for taking time to take, uh, take a look at this one, and we'll check you out on the next one. Take care.